Okay, so now we're going to look at rotating or revolving a curve this time about the y-axis rather than the x-axis, okay? So I'm going to return to the original equation, the original graph that we looked at, y equals 2x plus 2. I've re-sketched it here, okay? So here, what I'm going to be doing is I want to try and determine what the volume is when I would take this line about the y-axis. So, once rotated, it would look, I haven't drawn that particularly well, yeah. Okay, so let's say I'm going to rotate it to that point. Let's say that that is something like uh, 5, so it creates this cone, okay, and now if we think about it a little bit uh, using the ideas that we looked at last time, if you go back to the idea of it being um, a slicer that's going to be slicing like this big bit of ham and you're slicing off the slices of ham and each slice that you make is going to be a circle, this time we're going to be slicing horizontally. Okay, and each time uh, I am going to be creating a circle again, but this time the radius isn't dependent on y, it's dependent on x. Well, it's dependent on where I am on the y-axis, but it can be given by the value of x. Okay, so one thing that you will most regularly have to do in these types of problems is to make sure that you have x equals. So you need to rearrange the equation that you have if it's not already in a nice format to get x equals. So in this case, x is equal to 1 half minus 1. So the volume in general here is going to be given by pi r squared, where r is now x, and we're integrating not over the x-axis, but over the y-axis between the two values on the y-axis. So the volume for our little problem is pi times the integral between 2 and 5 of x squared. So that's 1 half y minus 1 squared dy. So this will get us our volume. Now I'm going to have to multiply out that bracket in this case. So we're going to get 1 quarter y squared um, minus y plus 1 dy. Then we can integrate. So that's 1 twelfth y cubed minus 1 half y squared plus y. Evaluated between 2 and 5. Right, so we have uh, 1 twelfth of 5 cubed. So that's uh, 125. So that's 125 over 12. Take away uh, 25 over 2 plus 5 take away, now we're back putting in 2, so we've got 8 over 12, which, um, well I'll just write it as 8 over 12 for the time being, um, well we're now so 4, 4, 6, 2 thirds, um, take away 2, plus 2, okay, leave the pi alone, so we pop, pop this all in our calculator, uh, then take away two thirds, we get us nine quarters. So that's nine quarters of pi. Okay? And that's how we could deal with uh, rotating a line about the y axis using this form. Okay? So for the x axis, it was y squared dx. For the y-axis, for rotating about the y-axis, it's x squared dy.
Okay, so um, I'm, in the next video, I'm going to look at a couple of examples rotating about the y-axis.